How's it going everyone? It's Tuesday, January 17th. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, I wanted to go over a couple different rumors that I saw circulating Reddit regarding the Switch. I thought it would be interesting if we talked about that for a second and analyzed it, broke it down, tried to see what fits, what doesn't fit. All right, so looking deep into the post, we can see that it comes from NeoGAF. The post basically says that Nintendo is producing dev kits with the GPU in the dock, potentially making the console more powerful than the PS4 Pro itself. That sounds amazing, but it also sounds a little bit too far-fetched. It says that Nintendo is currently making, or has made, 2,000 of these dev kit consoles and has, or is going to, ship them out worldwide. It also looks like this unit has extra RAM, about twice as much extra RAM. Now, the Switch consumer version that we're gonna get has four gigabytes of RAM built into it. But this dev kit version actually has eight gigabytes of RAM. That's initially what a lot of people had hoped for would be inside of this switch that we're gonna get, the first switch. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but what this post is saying is that these could either be the specs for the next switch, like a Switch 2, or the Switch Pro, but it is worth looking into. So if the rumors are true and Nintendo is working on a more powerful dev kit for the Switch, I wouldn't necessarily personally want to see a year down the line a new Switch that I have to pay a new $300 for um, that is more powerful than the one that I just invested my money into. What I would like to see, what I think would be really cool, is if we could get upgradable docks, which would essentially make the system modular. I think that's a really great idea and it's kind of going down the same path that Xbox is going down with Scorpio if you think about it. Phil Spencer has been saying that he sees the future of Xbox as sort of closer to the PC side of things where we'll be able to upgrade our consoles throughout the years as we see fit. Now with something like the Switch, because this console basically has two different pieces to it, I think it would be really cool if we could potentially in the future buy more powerful docks that we could then slide our consoles into. So if you wanted a more powerful experience playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, if you wanted to make that game 4K compatible, then you have to get the Switch 4K compatible dock um, that could retail for $150 or maybe that one's $200 and then there's a sort of mid-tier dock in between. Um, that is retailing for $150. So I think that would be really, really cool if, if we could upgrade our switches potentially through upgrading or buying new docks as the years go by. Also, I'm not personally sure if it's possible or not, but I think it would be really cool too to see in the future different types of Joy-Cons. I know people have talked about different styles of Joy-Cons, like a GameCube Joy-Con controller or a N64 style um, Joy-Con controller. But I would love to see Joy-Cons with that actually enhance the system itself. So I'm not sure if like it can communicate to the Switch, adding RAM to the system or making the GPU stronger or something like that. I don't know how those things work. But it would be really cool if like that was the way that the system got more powerful too. I, I would be okay with that. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Would you be willing to pay for modular docks? Would you be willing to pay for upgradable docks in the future for your Switch? Um, let me know what you think. Meet me in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I make weekly videos about the Switch. I almost said daily. I'm not going to promise daily yet. Weekly videos about the Switch. And hopefully we'll get something going <clears throat> pretty soon. I'd love to see this channel start growing. I'd love to get to know more of you out there. I'd love to sort of build our little Switch community and uh, get excited about things together. I mean, there's a new Nintendo console coming out, people. Let's talk about it.